was a younger girl, my three favorite things in no particular order were pizza, the book Little Women, and horses. Probably the number one name that comes up when you ask the question why do girls love horses is none other than Black Beauty? Sigmund Freud. Freud had this theory, as most Freudian theories go, that associated horses with sex. He basically believed that horses are a massive phallic symbol, so it makes sense that little girls would want to ride horses because it is simply our internal self being drawn to the phallus. Nutty as that theory might sound, some psychologists still think that Freud was on the right track. Sports psychologist Dr. Ethan Goligor said, and I quote, Ahem. The horse represents the quintessential combination of phallic and romantic. The horse is a phallic animal. Sleek, long, powerful, fast, voracious, all of which are attributes of the classic phallus. What's the fairy tale fantasy? That the maiden will be whisked away by the prince on his steed. Actually, the thought of the horse as the phallic animal kind of makes me never want to ride a horse again. There might be an historic explanation for girls' more modern affinity for horses. In the 18th century, hunting on horseback became increasingly fast and aggressive to the point that only women of questionable moral conduct would ever join in. The only appropriate riding for a lady at the time would have been probably a slow walk and definitely side saddle. If you're straddling a horse, well, call up old Freud because he'll tell you some things about phallic symbolism. Then something interesting happens when the horse is replaced transportation-wise by the car. In the 18th and 19th centuries, horses were a predominantly masculine domain. Once automobiles came along and sort of diverted their attention, horses were then opened up to be more of a hobby for girls, at least according to Girlhood in America, an encyclopedia. Then in the early 1900s, you start seeing more horsewomen challenging this idea that side saddle is the only appropriate way for a lady to ride and insisting that they should be able to ride, particularly in competition, astride. Even in the 1910s, some preachers sermonized from the pulpit about how such unladylike behavior, <laughs> riding a horse in a safer kind of way than side saddle was signaling the moral decay of our nation. Good thing you couldn't time travel forward to a Miley Cyrus concert, am I right? This debate as to whether it was appropriate for women to ride astride compared to side saddle continued until side saddle finally fell out of favor for the most part in the 1930s. And on top of all of this, there's a veritable library of young adult novels solely focused on stories about girls and their horses. It's no wonder now that Hasbro has sold hundreds of millions of My Little Ponies. Which brings me to my closing thought. Is the question of why do girls love horses giving way to the question of why do bronies love ponies? If you're a brony in the know, let me know below. Why are horses always named Nelly? That is a question that, I, because also, whoa, Nelly! Are they, what if they were all just named after uh, <laughs> the rap star Nelly? Thank <laughs> you.